reach, throw, but don't go. That is unless you are properly trained in uh, rescuing someone from the water. That is the advice from local rescue crews. They say that if you are not equipped with a flotation device, then you yourself can quickly become a victim. And that's unfortunately what happened here yesterday. A day of fishing took a devastating turn at Five Mile Lake. Just after five last night, a kayaker fell off his boat. Chief Pat Pollock with Puget Sound Regional Fire Authority says a good Samaritan on the dock saw him fall in. He went into rescue. However, they then found themselves in trouble as well. Boaters were able to rescue him, brought him to shore. He was uh, unconscious, no pulse. They were doing CPR. Fire, uh, firefighters took over uh, treatment of that person. That good Samaritan is in critical condition at Harborview Medical Center. The kayaker who fell in drowned. Dive crews found him after searching for more than two hours. It was a very tragic night uh, for for not only the 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 two individuals, their family members, as well as everybody who was there. Rescue crews stressed the dangers of water temperatures this time of year. Last night, they, they took temperatures of the surface water. It ranged between 44 and 47 degrees. Submerging in water that cold can quickly lead to hypothermia. As your body cools, then all of a sudden your, your vessels constrict and it's going to take the blood from your extremities and take it to the core of your body to protect your vital organs. Which means you start losing function of your hands, feet, arms, and legs. It's really hard to stay afloat, and, and then that leads to drowning. In the incident that happened yesterday, neither the kayaker nor the Good Samaritan were wearing life jackets. Chief Pollock says if you see someone in distress from shore, instead of diving in, try throwing something to them. This keeps you in a safer position to brace yourself and keep them from going under. When you have somebody who is, who is you know, drowning, who's trying to keep their head above of water, you know, they are thrashing around and they're going to grab at anything that's going to help them stay afloat. In 2021, there were 29 drownings reported in King County. Of that, there were 15 of those that happened in open waters. Crews tell us that if those people were to wear their life jackets, those deaths, they could have been preventable. Live in Auburn, I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.